What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up there guys? This is Dimbalen Football Channel, Kaiser Chiefs Football Channel. Football from the fans perspective. Welcome back. Welcome to a new video. If you are new, please let us subscribe. Let us turn on the notification button and let us like. Let's enjoy the comment section, of course. Let's have a conversation right there. It doesn't cost a thing, it just gives me more motivation. It just allows the channel to grow and it's, it's very much, you know, interesting. It's very much important and I appreciate it. We're just doing a review of Kaiser Chiefs season so far, Gavin Hunt season so far. Earlier on today, I was watching a game of Kaiser Chiefs versus Orlando Pirates. Kaiser Chiefs beat Orlando Pirates 3 0. We beat them 3 0. It was the final in 2010 against Orlando Pirates, won 3 0 Telcom knockout. First goal, Musona takes the ball from Monib Joseph, gives it to Stemiso Ngobo, Immortan Jonchimali, hits in the net. The second goal, Punch Masinomel across, Imoten Chonchimali, Stemison over, does the job again, header in. The third goal, my god, the third goal was very nice as well. Yeah, yeah, passes to, yeah, 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 passes to Ngobo. Ngobo just jumps and just, you know, just that little thing. The whole thing is a confusion. Chabala takes the ball, gives it that left of his. In the very same stadium, he scored the very same goal against Mexico. Gives it that left of his. Three Kaza Chiefs, zero Orlando Pirates. Nothing new with losing 3 0 in a cup game. Pirates has lost against us in a final. We have lost against them this, this time around. We move on like they've moved on. But in that game, man, this punch Masinamela. After punch, I think after punch there was Basera. There was. Uh, after Basera, there was other players that I don't want to remember. And then there was Masilela. So Punch, Basera, Masilela, we've had proper left backs. You know, if you check the generations of left back in Kaza Chiefs, now we have Zulu. We have not replaced so much uh, Masilela. To be honest, ever since Masilela, we've not replaced the left back. The right back, there was Tau. There was others as well. And then there was Gak. Since Gak, we have not improved, to be honest. And then, in the, you know, even in the center back, center back from Zama, Fabian McCarthy... Mayo, Thomas Sueso, Valerie Nahayo, Valerie Nahayo, you know, of course, you know, Valerie Nahayo, you know, Thomas Sueso. And then Morgan Gold, Morgan Gold, Tifa Mashamaite, Mato. Ever since then, ever since the, the team of Stuart Bucks have not made improvements. Tina Washington, no, Masha left. We replaced him with Katsande, of course, who's not a natural center defensive midfield. And Yes, you had the protection of EAA, you had the protection of, of Josta Zaza, you had the protection of, um, of Malulek, the traitors, but he was not a natural defensive midfield and now it's showing as he is aging. But it's fine. We have not replaced Tinasha Washington, no, Marsha, to be honest. And going forward, we have not done, Chiefs has not been good on recruitment going forward. Ever since, after, after Stuart Baxter, we have not recruited. We have not recruited, to be honest. Yes, we made additions, a few rejects there and there, but to be honest, honest, there was never a proper recruitment plan. But it's fine, it's okay. We brought a new coach. The previous coaches, they were not good. I mean, Karurus and what, what. Yeah, you know. Compella didn't give us anything. Solinas didn't give us anything. Yes, Ernst Middentop tried. Ernst Middentop tried, but... Well, it's all gone now, and uh, it, it was not enough. His trying was not enough. We have a guy who's proven right now. Proven in winning, proven in, proven in developing the team. 14 games, 3 wins only, 6 draws, if I'm not mistaken, 5 defeats. Not a good one. Not a good one. 14 games, it, it only 3 wins, 6 draws, 5 defeats. It's not a good one. But of course, he's still new. And in his record, Gavin Hunt is not a very fast starter. Doesn't start fast. Doesn't arrive and turns everything to magic. No. And we don't want that. That's one thing that we don't want. We don't want someone who arrives and gives us some magic that will end in tears. We don't want that. Some magic that, that is short-lived. We don't want magic that is short-lived. It's fine. He's starting. He's developing his team. That's, that's enough. Come... June, June 2021 is going to have time to recruit on his own to have his own team to build the team. 
like he has done with Vils, like he has done with Supersport, like he has done in teams before. He's a winner. He has won before. He knows how to recruit. He knows how he knows how to build a team. Only eight games in PSL give a man some time. It's good, very understandable to give a man some time to allow him. There's a lot of people now. Hey, there's need for counselling. There's need. I think that's that's too dramatic. It's been too dramatic. Don't think there's need for counselling. I don't think those things are needed. I think the players and the coach needs to understand each other to improve, to work on their confidence, and that will be done by the coach. That's why we have a coach. That's why we have a guy. That's why we have a technical team. And I think there are positives in this team. In this, we've got only seven goals, considered 11, minus four goal difference in PSL. It's, very, it's not right. 11 points away from the top team on the top. In, after eight games, 11 are away. Only one point from the teams in the relegation zone. It's very bad. It's wrong. It's very bad, it's wrong. It's not our worst start. Our worst start was under Solinas and was bad. But it's wrong to have only one point up from the team that is there, down there. Six points, my respect, and other team. I don't know what, which one is the second. Because I choose only seven points. It's just unacceptable. Unacceptable. But of course, we, we, we understand. We understand what is happening in the team. And as I mentioned, we have not been recruiting. I understand what is happening in the team. We lost against the three top teams. The three losses, they will have against the three top teams. The three losses in the league, three top teams. Sundowns, Solos, joint number one. Super Sport is number two. So we lost against the three top teams, the teams that started well. That's another thing that we need to understand. We need to be able to interpret our losses, the teams that started well. And I'm not saying it's good, it's right. But I'm just saying we need to understand what is happening in context. Understand what is happening with our team in context. And then draw against Arrows. Which I think we should have won the game. We could have won the game. The referee had a hand in it because gave a wrong uh, penalty. Second, a questionable to me, a questionable uh, second goal of Solos of Arrows that I think could have been judged an offside. But it's fine. It's a draw. We take that draw, of course. Second draw, two two against Lepas. Come back from nothing. From two nil, a very bad start. We come back. We score two goals. Come back, score two goals from Tuni. So you see what is happening. And we started very bad, but second, second, you know, second half Leopards game, much more improved team. Against Supersport, same mistakes that are made, but we cannot come back. We only get one goal. Could have came back there, we only got one goal because Supersport also is an experienced team. It's a team on the top of the lock as well. Second top of the lock. So couldn't produce a comeback, but started bad, but finished well. Draw against Celtics that is supposed to be on fire. We managed to start very well. Started very well. We should have won the Celtics game. Also allowed Celtics to come in. And the first thing that I, I want to note, which is a problem right now, is that the coach needs to fix the team in terms of consistency. The team is consistently inconsistent. First half good, second half bad. First half bad, second half good. And that is one thing that needs to be eliminated. We don't want that. In the moment where Kaiser Chiefs, but I'll speak about this later on, about how Kaiser Chiefs has improved right now, the things that I've seen in the team, the things that I think they can improve. Now, we're going to play Marisberg United. We're going to get, play a lot of games on, on, on January this, this coming month, and, and that's one thing that makes me to be concerned. Marisberg United, 9 January, Amazul 13, and then 16, Cape Town City, then 19, TTM. On the 23rd January, Stellenbosch. And then in between, there's a game of, of Dear Gasto that plays that's supposed to play on the 5th. Supposed to play on the 5th. And that's one thing that makes me to be concerned. That's one thing that makes me to be concerned. Because there's a lot of cramped up games. A lot of cramped But one thing that is positive about them is that it's not the big teams. not the teams that are at the top right now. It's the teams that we can play against, compete against, and beat them. It's, it's, there's nothing you know, too much scary about the teams. So I think we can use the opportunity to play with these teams. And I'm glad that the coach said the players will be back as, on, as soon as the 1st of January, which is very positive for me. As soon as 1st January, very positive, very good for me. And I, I like the spirit because they understand where they are. They understand where they are. They understand where they are. They need to improve. And the need to improve means we must come back early, show preparation, show commitment, and we're going to improve. And there are things that I want to... 
I want to note there are things that we need to learn from Gavin Hunt and how he has improved Kaiser Chiefs. How, what are the changes that Gavin Hunt has brought in the team so far? And what are the things that he has brought, not only changes, the things that made, you know, has, has, has brought in the team. First thing that is brought in the team brought us to a realization, exposed the situation of the goalkeepers in Kaiser Chiefs. The goalkeeping situation in Kaiser Chiefs needs to be improved. Kaiser Chiefs is known for having the best goalkeepers and being very competitive in that department. But right now, the situation has been bad. This one, this week, next one, next week, and they are old. Kuhn has been there for a very long time. They are very old, and I think it needs to be improved. He exposed the goalkeeper situation in Kaza Chiefs, and that's one thing that I like. That's one thing that I appreciate. The second thing, he has exposed the defensive issues, the defense issues in the team. And I said, we have not recruited. We have not been recruiting. The last people we recruited, you can see, man. You can see Zul was from Marisbeck, was not so bad, so, so, a best in my respect. Cardoso was not, you know, a recruitment. He has exposed the, def the defensive side, he has exposed the CDM position, the defensive midfielder position in Kaza Chiefs. He has exposed it. That there are problems there as well. Katsande, there are problems in Katsande. We brought in Akumu. Yes, he's been trying Akumu. He's been trying Akumu, but it's not gelled well and it's not good enough. It's not good enough. Let me tell you what happened, what, what Hunt did when he came to Kaza Chiefs. If you remember well, when we still had that situation of goalkeepers and Kaiser Chiefs, not, not goalkeepers, the Cavs, the Cavs situation, the issue of, of, of us not being able to sign players, you know. He brought three players from Vids. He brought a goalkeeper, Peterson. He brought Patricia Zonange, CDM. Convertible, of course, can play CDM, can be box to box, but come to on the ball, hard in making, good in terms of playing, can also defend. He brought in Sant. Brought in exactly in the positions that I've mentioned that there are problems there. Keep a problem. Peterson could have given an option. An option was, looks like Bruce is not doing that. And then defensive issues. Shanti there is a player that he trusts. CDM, serious issues in the CDM. That's the, that's, those are, should, should be the priorities come June 2021. But of course... That's very good. He made us to realize that. He made us, he's been chopping and changing defense to make us realize that there's issues in the defense. Bring the keeper, give us the cooling, but there are mistakes, there are issues in the, in, in, in the goalkeeping situation. In the CTM, change this one and this one and this one because there are issues there. He's not comfortable with the players that are there. He has sent us a message when he brought those three players from Vids that we couldn't sign and he's been giving us that message and he's working on it. One thing that we must, we must, we must, we must note. And then another thing, the, the fourth improve, you know, Im, Im, improvement in the team or the thing that he brought in the team that I appreciate is the two guys from development, Bloom and Nob. Very positive. He has made them part of the team. That's the first thing. Since when, have, when last did we have a player from development being part of the team, a regular, in Kaza Chiefs? I don't know. I don't know when. I don't know when. I don't know when to do that, but right now he's brought them and their regulars in that team, and that is very positive. That's one thing that we should take from him as an improvement. And they've improved the team, to be honest. They've improved the team and they're improving themselves as individuals. And we want that. We want that from team players from development. There's loyalty, there's investment on development, there's long term on development. Players that the player that must be brought is given to be must come back. Must come back needs to assist Manyam. And then there's one thing that I want to say in Kaza Chiefs. I'm not saying we played well. You must listen to me. The thing about when we had good moments in the game, we played like a different Kaza Chiefs, more like a team. The game against Leopards, when we came back, the second half, the team played football. Unlike kicking, played, played football. We played like a different team. The game against Supersport, second half, we played football. But of course we made mistakes. I think it was first half, yes, where we played football. Played football. Played very well. Celtics game, first half, when we got the goal, we managed to sit, we defended properly. We played football. And one thing that I like about the, those moments is that at the moment where Kaiser Chiefs played well, you know, in Super Sport, the Super Sport game, we missed a lot of chances that we should have scored. In the game against Chipa, we missed a lot of chances that we should have scored. And 
the thing that I can note is that at the moment where we created those chances, Kesa Chiefs was playing a very good football. Not excellent, of course, what? No, 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 not like that. But a very much more improved football from what Milan Dobet left us, from where Milan Dobet left us. And that's one thing that we want to take from hand. And Gavin Hunt did mention that he's seeing the improvements in the team, and I agree with him, the improvements in that team. The team's attitude is changing, and that's one thing that I want from that team. Team's attitude, the confidence of the team. I watched even the Tia Castro game. Yes, not impressive, but there's improvements. And one thing that is very nice about that is that at the moment where Kesa Chiefs play well, Manyama is playing well. Kesa Chiefs, the problem is that one thing that has made us to have a lot of critics on Manyama. By the way, he's my favorite player in, player in that team. Being player of the season is from Europe is not by chance that he has gotten what he got. Player of the season, not by chance. Captain of Cape Town City, not by chance. Quality player. But there's been issues like the entire team has issues. Had to improve with the entire team improving. And the painful part is that when the team is doing bad, when he is doing bad, Manyam, the team is most likely to be doing bad. And that's one thing that is painful about it. Because sort of depend more on him to play. When he plays well, the team is improving. When Bilat plays well, the team is improving. And I'm, I'm saying to you, Manyam has been trying. Yes, if he does well first half, second half, sort of losing NH. And those, those are the concerns that I have. Consistently inconsistent with the team. We need a team that is going to be con consistent. If the first half is good, make sure the second half is good. If the second half, we can't play bad second half, first half, and then second half we turn a different team. Already we are late, the teams have punished us. No, we need to be very consistent. And I'm glad that there is improvements in terms of the confidence of the guys. In terms of the style of play, at, in the moment where we play well, in the moment where Kaza Chiefs play well, we look a very different team. Very good in movement, very good in, you know, pace, in pace and moving, in progressing with the game, in building up from the back, in progressing with the game. And, and it's just in those, you see the glimpses. And we need those glimpses to be the game. We need them to be the game, to be the thing that we do. You know, if Kevin Hunt can fix that, this team is going to be okay. Last thing that needs to be fixed, we need to fix the Nukovic situation. We need to fix the Nukovic situation so that we can take care of the goals. You, you don't tell me, of course, those players are talented. Kaza Chiefs players are talented. Kama Bilad, very talented. Uh, Cardoso, I mean Castro, talented. has been scoring for Sanas, been scoring for us even last season. Manya has been, been there. They are very talented, these guys. But they need to improve their confidence. They need to improve. And they are improving. We need to bring in Nukovic in the team. And there are promises. You know, the coach has been saying that he's, he's very dying to see him playing. And it looks like he's going to be playing against the Agasto, hopefully. And if not against the Agasto, he's going to play against Marez Beck. But the situation has been taken care of. This team is changing. I'm seeing the changes. If you are a very analytical person, if you are a, an honest fan of the game, if you are not malicious in judging Hunt, if you are honest as a Kesa Chiefs fan, you will realize that he is changing the team. He is remodeling the team. And that's one thing that I want. And I want Kesa Chiefs to be back. Kesa Chiefs will be back, in fact. And in these games, these cramped up games of January, by the end of January, we'll be out of, of, of that lower, lower eight, we'll be in the top eight. I promise you that the way the team is improving, I promise you that that's one thing that I'm saying. By the end of January, we'll be there. We'll be there in the top eight. And we'll be back and we'll forget about these things. We'll forget about these things. We'll be gone by then. From there, we'll be targeting others there that have been relaxing. Otherwise, from me, that's it. That's it. I think as a team is improving, I think it's not a bad season. Give Hunt a chance. We're giving Hunt a chance. Give the guys a chance. We're giving them a chance. They are going to give us the results. It's coming. I can see it is coming. I can see the small glimpses. If those glimpses can be converted into the permanent game, the game that we play, if we can fix the defense, come what may, those things are going to be fixed, of course. And I know Hunt is not some small boy. I know he's not some small boy. Very good on the, on the development, guys. We're going to recruit 2021, of course, June. But right now, with the squad that we have, we can improve a lot. We can improve a lot. From me, that's it. Thank you very much. Kaza Chiefs is my team. We support Kaza Chiefs. We won't give up from it. This is Dibalen Football Channel. Kaza Chiefs Football Channel. Football from the fans' perspective. You know what it is. Love and peace.